Hi, Pre-K friends, and welcome back to another edition of Funky Fish Friday. Happy Friday and happy Funky Fish Friday. So many Fs. Let's get started. Today, we are going to be discussing a super cool fish called the puffer fish. Its scientific name is Tetra Odont today. As you can see right there, otherwise known as the blowfish. Blowfish use their stomachs to suck in air and, some, and water to avoid being eaten by their predators. They become an inedible ball of air so that nobody can eat them. If a predator does get a hold of them, they won't feel very happy for long because pufferfish have a toxin called tetrodotoxin that is poisonous and tastes really bad while also killing their predator. Yikes. Where do pufferfish live? Most of them are found in warm tropical waters as well as a lot of other fish we've talked about. But some are found in brackish water, which means a mixture of salty ocean water and fresh river, river water in estuaries, which if you remember, we talked about estuaries a little bit with Miss Ellie. This is what they look like. Pretty cool stuff. What do pufferfish eat? Most of them eat invertebrates, meaning animals or food sources that do not have a backbone and algae. There are over 120 different species of pufferfish, and some of the bigger ones will crack open and eat clams, mussels, and other shellfish. Sounds kind of like what otters do. Some funky facts about pufferfish are that they are considered a delicacy, which means they are considered extra special food called fugu in Japan. They are also very expensive if you wanted to eat it. Humans should be extra careful when eating pufferfish so they don't accidentally eat the poison. A few people have been known to die. Pretty scary stuff. The larger species of pufferfish have four teeth that never stop growing. As you can see right here, look at those teeth. So funny. I hope you enjoyed learning a little bit more about pufferfish and have a great rest of your day. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye, friends.